Hi, this is Mrs. Young, your Avon High School librarian. Today I'm going to be showing you where we can find really good research resources. When you research, we all do it. We go to Google first, we go to search engine, and we try and see what information is there for us. Um, great place to start if you're just kind of, you know, trying to figure out what you want to research or narrowing, narrowing down your topic. But once you actually know what your topic is and you've already developed some of your research questions, things that you want to learn through your research, a really good place to look is our library research databases. Now these are not Googleable, so you can't go to Google and find our uh, research database information. Uh, it's not available to you because the library pays for you to have access to it. And I wouldn't pay for it if it wasn't a really good thing for you to use for your research. I'm going to show you where to find that today and how that works. So. Um, we'll just start in. I'm going to scroll down here. I'm on the library page. To get to the library page, you know, we go to the Avon High School page by clicking here on schools. And then we're going to go to the menu and it says library right there. So that gets us to this page. And as I scroll down, uh, I do want you to notice this section that says research resources. And the first thing I'm going to show you is that if you are at school on a school owned laptop, one that you rent, you'll be able to get into these resources without any problem. You just click on the databases that I'm going to show you in just a second. But if you are at home or you are on um, a personally owned laptop, you're going to need to get some um, passwords. So we click here where it says log into Schoology to gain access to the passwords. And you'll log into Schoology and you can see here is the information for this. So. Um, all of our different Gale databases, which I'm going to show you in a minute, our passwords Nova 12, which is just Avon backwards. Um, and I try and keep that pretty consistent. You can see that Nova 12 is um, pretty much our password for everything. You might have to put Avon 12 in there as your login ID if it calls for that as well. But I'm going to go back to this research page and I'm going to click on where it says databases. And you can see we've got general research, we've got one on controversial issues, and then um, our English history and science, and there's some testing practices as well. But I'm going to click today on where it says general research. And I'm going to show you the one that's called research in context. Now biographies are really good if you're doing uh, looking up information on a person. This is a great place to get it. I will tell you um, one of the things that people say, especially um, they've interviewed famous people and they say like if they're using Wikipedia, they say Wikipedia is always wrong about famous people because people just change it all the time. Um, people change it back, but people put in things that aren't accurate and they say they just don't try to fix it anymore. So you might try one of our biographies sections if you're going to be doing that. But I'm going to go over here to research in context. This is a great place to start and um, we can do any topic we want to. I can see that um, right here I've got the Navajo Code Talkers. Sometimes it'll give me some people to look for. If I'm just kind of looking and browsing for, you know, you don't know what your topic is, you can just kind of do a browse. There's an additional browsing of a lot of topics available there. But I'm going to just search for Martin Luther King Jr. And notice it popped up right away with his name here in bold. So I'm going to click on that. And then I'll show you how this page is set up. With this, uh, if you go search, let's say you don't know anything about Martin Luther King Jr. and you go do a search on the internet, what's going to pop up is going to be a lot of different pieces of information, but it's not going to give you the whole picture, like just assuming that you don't know anything about him. But I'm going to click here on where it says read more. These overviews or these paragraphs are great quick pieces of information that are updated that will give you the information you need about them, just the background knowledge so you know even what you're searching for. The other thing that I like is that it always gives you some kind of critical thinking questions. These are great research questions, thesis statements, things like that. Um, you can turn them into thesis statements. Um, it makes a really good um, help for you in terms of doing your research. So as I scroll down, you can see it's not that long. There's some additional timeline and things like that will help you. And then my favorite part, um, if you select this and copy and paste it, there's your work cited completely done for you. So you can either export it to one of these um, drives or um, you can just copy and paste it into a Word document. As a reminder, you shouldn't copy and paste any of this into a Word document. You should read it and try answering your research questions. Uh, but don't copy and paste that because that's called plagiarism and we don't want to do that. So uh, you'll put things in your own words. And my best thing to tell you to do, so not to plagiarize, is read this article and then close the window 
and just write down the highlights that you remember because the important things are really what you need to know dates specific dates and exactly when he was born and exactly when he did things isn't as important as what he did and so that's the important thing to remember some additional features of this, um, some cool things up here at the top. One, uh, this will do a translation for you, and there's lots and lots of different languages that it translates into. You can decrease the font size, increase the font size if you want to make it bigger. You can change some of the display options, so you can do, um, if you happen to suffer from dyslexia or any kind of um, processing disorder, this open dys dyslexic is a great thing for you to be able to read um, the databases. It's really, really helpful. But you might also, uh, you know, enjoy changing the color, the background, um, makes it a little bit easier for you to read versus just the plain black and white. So some things that might help you, also the line spacing is also really good to make it easier for you to read as well. But I'm going to go back to the default settings and show you that. Um, it will read it to you as well if you'd like to listen to it instead or listen as you're reading. So that's helpful. And then you can export it to your Google Drive, your OneDrive. You can email it to yourself. You can download the article. You can print the article. You've got all those different options. Um, on the right hand side, it'll show you more articles that are like this and additional related articles. And then it will also have related subjects over here that you might be able to click on. So maybe you read something in this article, you think it's interesting and it's over here. You can click on that and it'll give you additional information. I'm going to click on back just so I can show you the other stuff that's on this page. Sometimes your teachers will say, hey, you need to have five resources for this paper or for this project. And if you look, I've got 50 articles here, 19 videos, 47 academic journals, 25 biographies, 216 audio pieces, uh, primary sources. You can just see all the different things that are there. Each and every one of those is a separate resource. It's just pulling them all together in one spot. That's why it's called a database. It pulls everything together in one spot. So you can see that I've got featured content here. Feature content's really nice because it's kind of like these people that made this product say, hey, like, I know you're a high school student and you're busy, so if you only can read four things, like, read these four things. These are going to be the best for you to look at. So this is a really helpful section. But you can see all the different areas as well. Primary sources is nice. Sometimes your teacher will say you need to have a couple of different primary sources. You can pull them right from here. Images, there's all sorts of stuff. Videos, everything. So, um... Gale in Context, excellent place for you to get some information. I'm going to show you one other spot. I'm going to go back to that library page. I'm going to click out of the general research, although I will show you um, World Book Encyclopedia is a really nice place to just get some really basic information. So that's a good place to look to. I'm going to go back to the databases, and I'm going to click on where it says Controversial Issues. And I just talk a little bit about this. So these two controversial issues, um, I'm going to click on opposing viewpoints first, set up just like the Galen context that we just look at. But what this is going to do is it's going to give you a pro versus con kind of situation. So if I look at this, I'm going to just explore this content that says land back movement. It'll say featured viewpoints. So what it'll do is it'll say, hey, this is one side of it, and this is another side of it. This is one side of it, this is another side of it. And it's going to give you different viewpoints um, on the topic so that you can explore both sides of that. For some of your um, persuasive essays, that's a very, very important um, thing to look at. So set up the same way, does the same thing. You've got to read more section. It does all the same things at the top. So um, really nice opposing viewpoints to give you both sides of a situation. And then I do want to look at the SIRS issues researcher. It's going to ask me for my username and password. Oh, now I'm not able to get in. Hold on a second. <laughs> All right, see, I'm doing this at home, and I had to go back and look at my password page. Um, so I'm in now. Uh, this is going to be kind of similar to that opposing viewpoints, but it's going to give me, again, both sides to a topic. So I can look at social media. Also, it's really good if you don't know what you want to do for your topic, and it gives you really good ideas. So you can see it's got set up viewpoint one, viewpoint two. It's got articles that support each of those. These are great thesis statement ideas, a um, really good thing to look for. There's um, some research guides that are help you, additional critical questions. You've got some uh, social media things here and timelines. Uh, so again, nice setup, everything. You can cite it all, um, all nice and easy for you. So um, again, that's SIRS Issues Researcher. 
So back on the library page, you can see that there's a lot of additional help for you here. There's some additional citation generators. Purdue OWL is an online, online writing lab from Purdue that will give you great ideas for writing. I've got 15 steps to good research here and how to do some research. So just be aware, um, there's a lot of information for you here. Again, these databases you cannot get to by going to Google. Um, so just be aware of that. And... And please contact me if you have any questions. I'm available through Schoology, Robin Young. Thanks for listening and good luck on your research.